Hey beautiful, today we are going to do a story time. But before we get into that, I'm going to twist my hair and rod it at the end. But before I do that, I wash my hair. I put in this great mask along with this leave-in condition. And then I'm going to oil it down to keep it hydrated so it can lock in. So let's talk about this situation at hand. So when I was 17 to 18 years old, falling in love at the age of 16 with the love of my life and he was a dark chocolate okay and he was my first boyfriend first person I love kiss and da 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 so my mom of course did not approve of me having a boyfriend her or her boyfriend did not like the fact that that little girl was liking this guy so we saw each other in high school and we wanted to see each other outside of high school so we I ended up sneaking him in the house so i ended up sneaking him into the house and on this particular day my mom came downstairs and she heard some noise and she turned the doorknob and the doorknob was locked and she said why do you have this door locked i'm hearing noises and i know i was bold right so she was like open this door so i opened the door and she came in the room was like what was that noise i'm hearing noises and I'm like, I'm just changing my room around. And she was like, no. So she opened my closet door and boom, bam. She said, the love of my life, sit in my closet. Next thing you know, our hair broke loose. She went off. She was like, what you doing in my house? I'm about to call the police. I think she probably hit him. I'm not really sure. But I know she popped me in my face soon as she saw him. So she ended up calling the police and the police couldn't do nothing because he was 18 years old and i did allow him in the house so it wasn't like he was trespassing so my mom picked up a central cord a anything that was in her hand and knocked me out i had bruises coming out of my legs blood everything so i ended up running away from home and my friend ended up snitching and telling my mom i was there so my mom came and got me and we drove to the house and while we was driving she seen this guy which was the love of my life she stopped the car and she said to him if you love my daughter so much you want her so much huh here she go you can have her so she told me to get out the car and she drove off so when she dropped me off with him we walked to his auntie house and i stayed over there overnight and he made sure i was warm and i ate and i had a good night's sleep so we can get prepared for school the next morning so i went to school the next day and i was so afraid to go home i wasn't really sure what to do so i ended up telling the school and i ended up calling the police and the police came up there they asked me all these questions they took pictures of my bruises because that was awful guys and i was so scared so that was like we're gonna take you to the house because i did not want to go to the foster care so that was like, i'm taking to the house i talked to my mom and my mom was telling the situation and she's supposed to not hit me well she didn't hit me anymore after that i don't recall but i did not do that anymore i learned my lesson i'm like i would not do that again i did not want to be beat down to the floor but this is my result guys i hope y'all like and i see you I next time fuck with you baby you right you are not for me goodbye you ain't shit to me shit to me, shit to me. you ain't shit to me shit to